Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And if it's just a little gloomy, I hope this video cheers you up. It's a little possibly stormy today. The South has been having a lot of bad storms and tornadoes. It's not been a good year for tornadoes. I hope we stay safe again today. I don't think we're gonna get any tornado warnings, but I think there's a small possibility. I'd rather face a tornado during the day than at night anytime though. Normally we get them at night. So let's get into this video, Marketplace Journals. I'm working through one of my shelves of boxes. Um, I'm still not organized to where I need to be with the marketplace. I've got a lot going on as all of you do as well, but I'm working through boxes um, on the shelves here to my right so that I can make room to organize all of the new stuff and get all a new number system and everything in place. So what I've chosen to share with you today are some journals from Connie Harvey, Jane Dilly, and then one from, I think it's Janice, but uh, let's start with that one so we can make sure we get the name right. It's just a single journal. Yes, Janice Brammer from Kentucky. Uh, she's really sweet. She says, hi, Lindsay. I watch all your videos and have gotten several of your digitals. The brown flower journal for the challenge. Okay, that was for a challenge we've already shown. And this patchwork moth one is to sell in the marketplace when you can. So this one I just set aside and I want to make sure it doesn't get lost in the cracks and I'm going to get this shown and in the marketplace. If you're new, I do lots of paper crafting, especially junk journal related videos and I host an online consignment shop slash marketplace in my website. My website's listed in the description box below. I sell journals from artists all around the world. It's a wonderful place to get just the journal you are looking for and to be inspired. So if that sounds interesting to you and you would like to submit some journals for me to sell, I have my email below as well. If you just send me an email, I'll be more than happy to send you over the guidelines. They're not uh, difficult. Um, I'm not over crazy or over picky. And I hope that you will enjoy being a part of my marketplace. So this is from Janice. It is called Patchwork Moth. And this is beautiful. I love a good patchwork cover. So here's a really pretty um, fabric on the back. And then here on the front, I, I really think this is from one of my kits because I recognize all of the fabric and the buttons and yeah so I think this was actually a kit I sold a while back that Janice purchased and she's made a beautiful journal for the marketplace I always think that's a wonderful option when you're looking at journal kits whether they're in my shop or somebody else's shop um, you can purchase the kit put the journal together send it into my marketplace and I'll sell the journal for you so how amazing is that love actually I'm wondering I don't think I created this cover. I did a similar cover. She did this cover. It's beautiful. I just recognize everything on the front. So I love how she lined that with muslin. And then this is my kit called um, Work Basket Moths. So you could type that in on my website. It'll pop up as a printed or a digital version if you like this style or want to make a journal with Work Basket Moths. So the ephemera here is from the kit as well. It's the theme of embroidery as well as moths. A lot of the embroidered images came from Avalon Rose Design. She had a beautiful, like these embroidered roses and things. So it's a very vintage looking, here's like the ephemera um, kit, but it has beautiful embroidered bits and pieces. I love what she's done with this. Here we have a little patchwork. Um, pocket here on the side even like these book pages and things I included in the kit I guess I don't remember all the details of the kit because I put a lot of stuff together but I just love how she took what I sent and turned it into such a beautiful journal so not only did she get to um create an incredible journal and have that fun of doing that but she got with the sale of this journal, she gets to recoup some of the costs of her crafty supplies. Love the little tab she's put on there. This is a sweet journal. I think it would be a great gift for someone you know that really enjoys embroidery or sewing as well. So this is from Janice and that's the only journal from Janice today. 
is this one. So gorgeous. And now we're going to look at, I think this is from Connie, Connie Harvey. Let me double check on that. I love this cover. You all know I love birds. Um, make sure I get the name. Yes, this is Connie Harvey. So you guys are going to love how this journal comes with ephemera or I'm assuming this is ephemera. It comes with, okay, this is a dashboard. So you can put it under your pages when you're writing. Let me see here. If you're writing on a page or working on a page and you need a solid surface to write, but there's some bumps like from lace, you put it there, then you can do your writing or your stenciling and then just move it throughout the journal as you need it. She also made this collaged envelope. Oh, it's so pretty. Can't wait to see what's inside. Has um, a book page and some scraps, paper scraps and things that you can use in collages or things throughout the journal or in another project. Really, really fun to include those with the journal. So this is called Songbirds. And I love the book that she's taken these pages from. Um, I've had at least one copy of it before and it is just a beautiful book. I like the size. The pages are a little narrower than the size I usually make. And I just, I just like that. I think it looks aesthetically pleasing. It's something I enjoy different sizes sometimes. I tend to go with a nine by six size because it saves me time. I don't have to trim down pages or as many pages anyway. So that saves me time, but I love a good thinner page not choosing the right words, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to put this in the journal. I do not want to separate it from the journal since it's all goes together. So gorgeous. It's a repurposed book cover. I just love the recycling aspect of it as well, where these books were probably destined for the landfill. They get new life breathed into them. Too many things off to my side put those away make a little more space all right uh that one was connie i think this one's from her as well isn't that cute it's one of those little ring bound albums that she's turned into a journal so it's just um like a photo album but it's called a little bit of nature and she's done ring bound these take a lot of work, these binder ones. Um, I've made pages for ones before and they take a lot of work. Um, you can fit a lot of pages into it and you kind of have to think outside the box to make the pages work. And I just love what she's done. What's so wonderful about these is you can add pages, move pages around, um, I also like to suggest that you use these as resources. So when you're journaling, if you buy a ring bound journal, you can use these pages, you can take them out and use them in different ways in your work. And then you can put in, like if you have a cutoff page that you think is really pretty, you can you know add it into this binder as part of a resource, or you can just, use this as a glue book or a journal. The pages tend to lie quite flat, which is really nice. And it's just sometimes nice to try a different size when you're journaling. The journal we've been working in together is a mini as well here. And I haven't worked in it for a while just because when my boys are home and they're not in school, I end up having to pause the video multiple times and then put all the videos together because they need me in between. And this adds extra into that. And um, I just haven't had a chance to work in it recently. But I will show you this lovely tag that was gifted to me in Happy Mail. Um, I'm thinking about adding that in here. So we're gonna work on that in an upcoming video, hopefully soon. She's tied a whole bunch of goodies onto that page. And then in the back, 
There's a little flip book with more ephemera. That is a sweet, sweet little ring bound journal. It's so pretty. And she left this cover pretty much the way it was. And I really don't think it needs anything, but what you could do is put lace or rosettes on the spine. You could add a tassel. You could add maybe a word label. I know Sasha, unless they're all sold out, she had some in her section of my shop, journal word labels that would look incredible on that. Just to add a little extra to it. I believe this is from her as well. Let's take a look. That is pretty. It's like one of those flexible covers. It feels like it's made out of wallpaper. Look at all those signatures. And then it comes with a few things. So a mini dashboard that you can use in there. And then a an Velcro um, envelope flip book with some papers and ephemera and cards and things in there that you can use. Very beautiful. That is gorgeous ribbon, really iridescent, pretty. All right, so let's look at this journal. So it is um, wallpaper and lace. I love the flexible covers that you can just squish in your hands. It feels great. So it's called Roses. She's used some of my ephemera too, so that's fun. There's so many pages in here. How cute. I love roses. They are my favorite flower. So she's used some of mine like from Vintage Image Club. Oh, I think my description box still is sending you to vintageimageclub.com. I need to change that. So hopefully I've changed it for this video. Um, it'll have a new link for Vintage Image Club because everything is accessed through Google Drive now, which makes the images better quality and easier for you to see uh, the folders and the organization. If you hadn't been over to my Facebook group recently, I've posted screenshots of what the Google Drive looks like and everything available currently. Actually, I've added something since then, so there's even more than that, but that might help you decide if you want to join. There's only one option for joining anymore, and that is a lifetime access, so I will include that below as long as I don't forget. If for some reason it still is sending you to Vintage Image Club, just head over to NevermoreCreations17.com and look in the huge sales section, you'll find it. So that is absolutely beautiful, I love it. Um, and then I think she sent this one. This is a mini sunflower. I usually do not list minis by themselves, but I have to say this one is adorable. So I don't know if I'm gonna lift it, list it by itself or I'm gonna put it with one of the other ones, but this is a teeny tiny sunflower journal. It is so cute. Oh my goodness, it's cute. Wouldn't this be a sweet address book? Oh, I think that would be a sweet address book. You could put everybody's addresses and birthdays in there. Oh, that would be just, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. that. I am not one for listing mini, mini journals, but that one is incredible. It's so cute. All right. Uh, then we have some journals from Jane. And I want to say thank you, Jane, because she sent me a little goodie bag. And I got, I love these fabric scraps she sent me. Oh, they're so bright and cheery. So much fun. So I will have a lot of fun using these in my journals. And I don't have pinking shears. I need to get some. So seeing that these are pinking sheared uh, really makes me happy. And she made my day with an Uhu glue stick. I love these things. Um, so thank you so much. These are so incredible, useful. You've just cheered me up today. Just this little bag of goodies. It just put a smile on my face. So thank you, Jane. I really, really appreciate that. I'm going to try to get these out of the way so that I can show you Jane's journals. This is a coffee themed journal it looks like. It says coffee and sunshine. It's fabric um, covered. I love the white lace. Let's look at the inside. Yes, it is coffee, coffee, coffee themed. So much fun. 
So I always like to think of coffee journals as a perfect journal for if you have a cup of morning coffee to pull out your coffee journal and just jot down a few thoughts, whether it's just brain dump everything that's on your mind, whether it's a devotional journal, a gratitude journal, a to-do list, um, whatever it is. I just think it would be so much fun to journal in a coffee journal while drinking journal. It's all, while drinking journals while drinking coffee. I think it's also an incredible gift if you know of a coffee lover. Um, getting one of these, oh, the signature's a little loose, but I know I can, pretty sure I can fix that because this is a bow tie. Let's see if I can fix that. Nope, it is like triple knotted. It's not going anywhere. It's just slightly loose, so I'm not going to worry about that. It's not going to come out. Just well, now I can't retie that bow. There we go. So it's knotted before the bow. This this is not going anywhere. It's just it's just a little loose in there, but it's not coming out. It's also I think coffee journals are a great gift. A lot of us know um, coffee drinkers, and that they love that. And I think getting them a coffee journal, maybe with a bag of coffee, would be a really really fun gift for a mom or an aunt or something like that. I think having a, one thing I want to start doing um, is having a Rubbermaid tote or a basket, maybe even just a Dollar Tree basket or something, a laundry basket, something like that with gifts. So when I come across something that I'm like, I know that I'm gonna have, be able to use this as a teacher gift or birthday party gift or whatever, that I can put it in there. So if we see, say a journal, and oh, this is a wonderful price, and I know there's coffee drinkers and lovers in my life, and I could use this for Mother's Day gift, Christmas gift, teacher's gift, a uh, random act of kindness, I know that I will wanna give this as a gift. You can purchase it, stick it in there. You have gifts ready to go. I just think that's a great idea. I know I definitely want to do that with like things for my kids and their classmates and stuff like that. This one, as soon as I pulled it out of the box, I fell in love with it. Look at that little embroidered bird. Of course, you know, I love birds. We have like decoupage and it looks like it's inked as well. We have lace. I love a simple white ribbon. I really do. I think that's probably my favorite closure is a simple white ribbon. Look at that cover. That little bird is so cute. We have layered cardstock, lace, fabric, more lace, flowers, and the sweet, sweet bird. Oh, and she has used antique aviary. So journal made out of a nine by 12 envelope, Mod Podge napkins on cover, fabric on inside. And then this kit is a freebie kit over on, I used to sell it. And um, then I've added it as a freebie. It's one of my first kits that I ever made. It's called Antique Aviary. And uh, it's a gift over on my Facebook group. You can uh, just search Antique Aviary when you're on my Facebook group. It pops right up. And uh, so she used this as well as some Tim Holtz and stickers and things like that. So how beautiful. Look at the stenciling. Of course, this is Tim Holtz. Oh. I want to be able to design like Tim Holtz when I grow up. <laughs> Just love his design. They definitely inspired me. So all bird themed. If you love nature and you love birds. Oh, this was from one of, I had bird goodie bags that I sold. And this was part of that. I love seeing how that looks in a journal because I don't think I've actually used these in a journal. They're those little Dover books that have the stickers on them. And then I sewed a frame around it and inked it up. Look at how cute that looks in a journal. That makes me happy. Some bird washi tape. Look at that. Just a little fabric flip. Gorgeous, gorgeous pages. These, this is from Bird World. That's another one of my kits. And this is from Bird World. And I think this one is a tag from Bird World. This is Antique Aviary. This is my favorite one so far today. Just love that cute little embroidered bird. So adorable. And the final journal we're looking at today is this pretty purple one. So it's uh, purple fabric. Purple, this is either Jane, yes, this is Jane. So purple fabric, we have white lace, three signatures. We have quite a wide spine, if you love the look of that. 
and then it's collaged up with fabrics and ribbons and it's got a little butterfly, some beautiful paper, pretty collage on the front. And this one is purple flowers and butterflies, recycled cardboard fabric. Very nice, good size. I like the size. Very pretty. Got some really pretty stenciling and journal cards and lace, little belly bands. It's pretty script, places to write. These signatures are slightly loose as well, but she has them tied um, so tightly here. They're not going anywhere. They just wiggle a little bit. Give you a little extra wiggle room. There's a new, new uh, use for that term, wiggle room. If they're in super tight and they wiggle a little, that is not the end of the world. But if the thread is really um, brittle or so thin and the knot is just cut too short, it's just going to pop out. But that's in there really tightly. It's not going anywhere. Got a pretty purple ribbon to tie it all up with. And that is what we have today. So much fun <clears throat> from all of these lovely, lovely artists. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and just enjoy the inspiration. Maybe it will inspire you to start a journal. We have had everything here from ring bound journals to simple single signature, mini journals. I've seen wallpaper, fabric, cardstock, multiple signature journals. Maybe something spoke to you and you think, oh, I have that perfect piece of fabric or that perfect um, piece of wallpaper and I'm gonna go make a cover out of it and just see what happens. I really think with inspiration, um, I love to start with a cover piece. I don't always do that, but I often, I'll choose a piece of cardstock or fabric or wallpaper. I'll create my cover and then I will shop around my stash or Etsy or the store. Well, usually I don't specifically go to the store for specific paper. I buy what's on sale and what I like, and then I turn it into stuff later on. So if I created a wallpaper cover, I would go off the colors or the theme, look through my digitals, maybe go on Etsy, look for a new digital to support a small business, look through my fabric bins, and I pick something, pick the pages, that would go perfect with that cover. That's actually what I've been doing in the journal I'm currently making. And hopefully I'll be able to finish that today and tomorrow and get that up maybe over the weekend, just do a, a quick laid back flip through of that journal. We will see. Thank you so much for supporting me through this um, crazy time in our country with, I know everything's kind of hither and thither. My mind and words. It's hard to pull everything together to say the right words and to explain everything the right way because my mind is just kind of befuddled and foggy. But um, I'm still here for you guys. You guys encourage me and inspire me every single day. Thank you so much for your love and your care and concern. And I will see all of you in the next video. Have an amazing day.